Brain regeneration. It is not necessarily the thing of science fiction. In fact, there are many common herbs and spices probably in your home right now that can help the brain regenerate. Now keep in mind, this particular study was done in a laboratory in a petri dish, meaning it has to be carried out to animals and then to humans for further confirmation. However, it is for flavanol, or flavonoid I should say, that's found commonly in herbs and spices called apigenin. And it works incredible, provided it gets past the blood-brain barrier in adequate amounts. So, to begin, plant compound found in spices and herbs increases brain connections. That's Brazilian researchers, I'll keep on reading on, shows that the flavonoid apigenin has potential to treat diseases like schizophrenia, depression, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. That is the researcher's words, not I. The citation title, for those looking for the DOI, commitment, uh, commitment of human pluripotent stem cells to a neural lineage is induced by the pro-estrogenic flavonoid epigenin published in Advances in Regeneration Biology 2015 to proceed to the meat of the research. Researchers demonstrated in a laboratory that epigenin, this flavonoid found in herbs and spices, a substance also found in parsley, thyme, chamomile, and red pepper, far more than even just those, improves neuron formation and strengthens connections between the brain cells. What can that possibly mean to strengthen the connections, increasing neurons? Well, let us proceed. Here we show that by simply adding a plant compound called epigenin to human pluripotent stem cells in a petri dish, they became neurons after a few days. We also observed, now, step back a second. I want you to stick with me. I want you to see the picture coming up shortly after this. We also observed that neurons could make more sophisticated connections among themselves after treatment with this natural compound. This observation suggests that flavonoids derived from plants can be used as a tool for the production of neurons, at least in a dish. Moreover, since flavonoids, sounds kind of gross. Moreover, since flavonoids are present at high amounts in some foods, we can speculate that a diet rich in flavonoids may influence the formation of neurons and the way they communicate within the brain. The scientists observed that just by applying epigen and nothing else, to human stem cells in a dish, they become neurons after 25 days. Would you think about it? That's just freaking insane just by applying apigenin and they become neurons. In effect, they would not see without the substance. Now look at the picture. This is pretty fascinating. Moreover, the neurons that were formed were made stronger and sophisticated connections among themselves after being treated with this natural compound. You see the picture? The untreated group looks like dark. You see a few colors there. You see the one that one says API, which means apigenin. It's like the whole thing just comes to life after it's just a certain short period of time. That is fascinating. And even more so, that is only one of the many fascinating pictures in the actual study itself. Researchers believe that apigenin can be used as an alternative approach on future treatments for neurodegenerative diseases, as we mentioned before, schizophrenia, depression, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's, as well in neural differentiation, the differentiation strategies in the laboratory. Now keep in mind, prior on flavonoids, they found that the natural vitamin E helped flavonoids get past the blood-brain barrier much more efficiently than without natural vitamin E. So that's just something to keep in mind uh, if the research begins to pan out on the epigenin here uh, into actual animal and human trials. However, the spices obviously are far more fascinating, far more complex than we originally had thought. Simple, cheap, ineffective, and up to this point in time, according to this research, incredibly, incredibly promising. Again, this is Ralph Church Channel signing off. I really hope this helps. Thank you.